Hi, I'm T. Ben Dune with Make It Mine. I'm going to show you how to carve a stamp. To carve a stamp, you need a few tools. One you need is the rubber stamp block, and that's just a flat sheet that is compressed rubber and it's ready for you to carve. A pencil to mark your design and carving tools. And the carving tools that I have are made by Speedball. They have interchangeable blades in them that you can take in and put out and select your different sizes of carvers. There are wider carvers for doing a larger area. There's even a knife if you wanted to outline the stamp and cut away the rest of the rubber. For this one, you can do one of two things. You can just freehand draw the design that you want to carve into your stamp, or as I did, make a Xerox copy of a royalty-free image, cut it out, trace around it, and then I just freehand drew the markings of the orca inside of the design, but you could, if you wanted to, cut around all of the black edges and continue to trace the patterns as you go in. Now, for this one, I will take the smaller blade and do the inside of the design, and all you have to do is just sink it into the lines where the pencil is, and then pull it away. And then you are carving out your design. Just make sure you follow your pencil tracings, and take away as much of the, about, I don't know, about an eighth of an inch deep, because what you're making here is a relief print. So you'll just trace the lines with your carving tool. The great thing about the rubber is that it's really easy to carve. So it's kind of just like a hot knife in butter and you can just scoop it out and you can go around tight corners or you could go straight either way and you don't have to get it even inside I like to make mine nice and neat because the ink can catch into the rivets and then when it does that you end up with sort of a messy print later on but just carve away and make sure your edges are clean And then you can carve little bits of the design, like this fin. We want to show that it's there, even though most of that's going to be black. And that's the other thing. What you want to carve away is the part that's going to be light. So the parts that are going to be dark, you leave intact on the print, which means at the end of the tail here, where I'm making it light, I'm actually going to leave the edges around it dark. So I'm going to leave about a pencil width outline that is going to end up being raised from where I had carved the inside part. And after you get the whole whale outlined, or your whole design, whatever your design is going to be, after you go around the whole outline of it, with your narrow blade, you can take a larger blade and really scoop out the rest of the portion around that design so that you have a good clean difference between your design and the part that's not going to be printed. And you would just keep doing that and that is how you carve a stamp.